This slide is the small intestine at low power. The tip of the pointer is on the epithelium lining the small intestine. We are looking at one layer of columnar cells or simple columnar epithelium. It's not easy to tell that that simple columnar epithelium on low power, so the next slide will be at high power. Now we'll go to high power. Um, the tip of the pointer is on simple columnar epithelium. At the very tip of the pointer, we can see a dark layer that are the nuclei of the columnar cells. The nuclei are found in the basal region, and the cytoplasm is found in the apical region of the cells, giving this pink layer. Um, the pink layer, or cytoplasm, is near the lumen. The um, uh, simple layer of columnar epithelium lines the small intestine. Here is another view of the same slide. Um, another layer of simple columnar epithelium, um, visible, the dark line with the nuclei, the pink layer of cytoplasm. The tip of the pointer now is at a goblet cell. The goblet cells are filled with mucus and they are found in um, the epithelium, uh, there are many of them within the uh, small intestine in the um, simple columnar epithelium. This slide is the trachea at low power. The tip of the pointer is on the epithelial layer of the trachea. This is actually a layer of stratified columnar cells, but you can't really tell that these, um, this epithelial layer is many layers of columnar cells on low power. We will now move to um, the same slide on high power so that we'll be able to see. We are now looking at the trachea on high power. The lumen is to the left, the clear area. The tip of the pointer is on stratified columnar cells. Um, you can see many layers of cells. The most mature cells where the tip of the pointer actually is directed um, are clearly columnar in shape. You can see a row of nuclei in the basal region of the cell and uh, pink cytoplasm in the apical region of the cell near the lumen. Just left of the apical uh, region or the cytoplasmic region of the columnar cell, we can see a row of cilia. Um, these cilia are visible, um, just a little ha haze almost, a fringe on this uh, layer. Here, the very tip of the pointer is on the cilia uh, of the uh, stratified columnar epithelium of the trachea. This layer of stratified columnar cells extends from about here back toward the lumen on the left. Uh, in this region, we see the most mature cells, obviously columnar, and we see more immature cells in this region. The basement lamina underlies the uh, stratified columnar tissue right about at the region of the uh, tip of the pointer. The basement lamina separates the epithelium from underlying tissue which has a different appearance. The tip of the pointer here is about where the more mature cells are and um, directly left of the mature cells on, on the apical surface of the mature cells are the um, cilia and with the lumen to the left. Stratified columnar epithelium. We are looking at a slide um, that is pseudo-stratified columnar epithelium on high power. Um, the tip of the pointer is showing the dark nuclei, and um, as you look at this slide, you'll notice that the most apical cells, or the cells nearest the lumen, are columnar in shape. You can, you can clearly see the pink cytoplasmic region that is nearest the lumen. That's how we can tell that these cells are columnar. Um, at first glance, it appears that there are multiple layers of cells in this epithelial layer. However, each of these cells is actually a, uh, in contact with the basement lamina, so it really is only one layer of cells. So this is called pseudo-stratified epithelium, or falsely stratified. Um, the way that you can tell that um, this is falsely stratified for our class is that there's only uh, three, no more than four layers of uh, nuclei visible. When you get up to five, eight, or ten nuclei, uh, 
layers of nuclei, then we'll call that truly stratified um, uh, epithelium, columnar epithelium. But uh, here we can only see two, maybe three layers of nuclei. So this is pseudo stratified epithelium. Here, the tip of the pointer is on a layer of cilia. Um, on the apical surface of uh, this layer of pseudostratified epithelium. It has a fringe-like appearance and you can recognize it as cilia.